What's going on everybody, Pokeball here, and today we're going to be opening up a different style product. We have ourselves a Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game mystery box. I got this box for not $19.99 as it says on the box. I actually got this box for $0.80 cents off of Amazon, and that's because of this awesome website called Elite Deals Club. They do daily promotions around 10 a.m. every single day that give you extremely huge discounts on products. Uh, they do have Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards on there. So they give you a promo code, you plug it in on Amazon and you basically check out. It is pretty simple. Pokemon and Wife also did a video on this. They got themselves some Ultimate Collection Box version 4s for like 99 cents. It's absolutely a crazy site. I will leave a link to the website down in the description below for those of you that want to try to snag some deals because they do sell out fast. You don't have to purchase anything. You simply go on, get your deal code, plug it in on Amazon and check out, but they go super quick. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have ourselves, I've never opened up Yu-Gi-Oh cards before in my life. I did watch the anime as a kid, but it is a mystery box, uh, kinda. Comes with one SE box, a figure, five foil cards, three rares, and two packs. And retail price is $19.99, and I got it for 80 cents. It is a product made by the Fairfield Company. We are all familiar with Fairfield Company and their repackaged products. So let's go ahead and take everything out. And what is this? What, what's this thing? We have a starter deck. I uh, have no idea what this is. So let's let's open this up and see what it is because I have no idea. I don't really know a thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. So we'll just open it up and see. Something different on the channel. Uh, I don't expect to be doing much more of these just because I, I really don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! But here is our starter deck and it has, if I butcher these names, you can beat me up, it's okay. We have Performable Slight Hand Magician, uh, it looks like a holographic, pretty sweet card. And let's just open this thing up, how can I open this up? All right, made a quick cut just so I could get the packaging off, but here is our, it looks like a bunch of these are foil cards. Uh, it is a Performable Slight Hand Magician. It is a holographic. It is card number, uh, yeah, you can read it. We have a Performable King Bear. A, yep, not even going to try. Don't have an, any idea what these cards are worth or if they're valuable, but looks like a little starter deck for the card game. They actually have some really neat artworks on these cards. I'm going to say it's a performable style deck or something. But yeah, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It was cheap. That's a pretty sweet card with all those little characters. It was cheap, 80 cents. Figured I would go for it. Uh, and if anybody's in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, then I'll probably post them up on eBay because I have no idea, nothing about them. I just figured it was a cheap product, so we would go ahead and get it. And what do we have here? We have a Series 2 Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I do know that one. That is Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and probably Dark Magician Girl. So how do we get in this thing? Let's check this out. Let's see what this is. Uh, I have no idea. It is something. And we have ourselves uh, this little guy here. Don't know what it does. But yeah, cool little Yu-Gi-Oh figure, and it has this little KO thing. I guess you can battle them. So pretty, pretty neat. That is all that came in that. Move all this trash out of the way. Uh, it looks like a play style map for the actual game. You get a deck booklet. It tells you exactly what to do, how to play the game, how the cards work, etc. And we have some really warped cards because you know it is the Fairfield Company and they just do not care about packaging, card quality or anything. It has some damage. They are extremely warped as you guys can see. Nice and bouncy. But we have a Vivid Knight and an Adhesive Explosion or Explosive. So that's kind of neat. What else do we have here in these mystery cards? We have a Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd that is a holographic. We have an Augmented 
heraldry, a superconductor Tyranno, that is a pretty sweet looking card. We have a space time police, a captain policeman. We have an Argenix Oracle and a elemental hero flame wingman. So I guess that is the other rare because it said you get three and you get your holographic. So pretty neat. I mean, don't really know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, but if some of you guys are Yu-Gi-Oh fanatics, definitely drop a comment below and let me know anything about these cards because I know nothing. And then here's our booster packs. We have Shining Victories. Uh, I guess this is one of the new series of Yu-Gi-Oh. Nine cards per pack. Have no idea what the pack trick is. Nine cards, I'm going to say it is probably two. So we'll go one, two, and if I butchered it, then apologies. But we have this one, Master with Eyes of Blue. We have a Dwarf Star Dragon, Planeter, uh, Performal Fireflux, Digital Bug Centipede. We have an Amorphage Greed. How do you tell if these are rare cards? You have a Hollow, Tunner's High, and yeah, I guess that is our Hollow Foil. And this must be the reverse because the name on it has a hollow. So this is the reverse and that must be the rare. So, hmm. Cool. All right, to our next pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I did do the pack trick, right? Figured it was probably similar to Pokemon. All right, we have a Deskbot base, a Performable Cell Shell Crab, a Digital Bug Corbage, a Raid Raptor Booster Strix, the Caillou Files, our Reverse is a Mausoleum of White, looks like a spell card, and a Digital Bug Rhino's Bus, cool. Well, no, I didn't do the pack trick right because there are some other cards. have no idea what they are, what they do. But I am curious to know how you tell if it is a rare or not. So, yeah, there's our hollow. Here is our reverse. Definitely drop a comment below and let me know anything about these cards because I am completely clueless. Just figured it would be something neat to open up. It was a cheap product and you know, something different on the channel. Don't expect too much more of this just because Yu-Gi-Oh! is not really my thing, but... It was cheap enough to buy, open up, have some fun with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all in my next video.